I am Masaran Traoré. I'm from Mali. I'm from Malawi. I come from Kenya. I'm a chief superintendent of the Nigeria Police Force. And I'm from Monrovia, Liberia. I just finished my contract with the ECOWAS volunteer program in Liberia. We are back again with another video and I want to believe you are all doing amazing. If you are new here, my name is Lillian and I do hope that you will hit the subscription button and I hope that you like this video. And of course, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming back. I appreciate you and I want to believe that all of you will hit the like button on this video. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the Kofiana International Peacekeeping Forum located right here in the greater Accra region. I am new to this. No one told me until one of my subscribers left a comment at the comment section and I am grateful for that. So I decided to take a look at them and there they are. So let's go meet them, get to know a little more about the school and I will be back. Let's go. Welcome to the Kofi Annan International Peacekeeping Training Center, KAIPTC, one of three regional training centers of excellence mandated by ECOWAS for training and research in conflict prevention, management and peace building. Established in 1998 and commissioned in 2004 by the government of Ghana, KAIPTC is mandated to train military, police and civilian personnel for multi-dimensional peacekeeping and peace support operations in West Africa and the rest of Africa. The vision of KAIPTC is to become the leading and preferred international center for training, education and research in African peace and security. Its mission is to provide globally recognized capacity for international actors on African peace and security through training, education and research to foster peace and stability in Africa. Driven by these, KAIPTC over the past decade has trained over 14,000 individuals from over 90 countries and major organizations in Europe, North and South America, Asia and Africa. KAIPTC adopts the collaborative problem-based learning approach for all training courses. With this pedagogy, participants learn to work as a team, share ideas and experiences to solve or find solutions for problems. Our training courses are designed and developed to reflect regional and continental issues in order to meet the training needs of our participants who are predominantly from the African continent. I always say that everything about Ghana represents peace. Even the mosquitoes in Ghana are gentle, they are peaceful. Even when they bite you, you don't fall sick. And the person was like, he wanted me to explain and I did explain and he laughed, he was laughing the entire time. Everything about this country signifies peace. I mean, 
I'm talking about this. This is a school that people from around the world comes to study about peacekeeping and peace management, go back to their own countries to implement it. Uh, women have been shortchanged in the in issues of security. They always looked at one like people that don't have anything to contribute. One of the problems we have mostly in Africa is the fact that women are marginalized to get to that strategic decision-making position. It's very important to have women on the table of discussion when we want to build peace. I am Masaran Traoré. I'm from Mali. I'm from Malawi. I come from Kenya. I'm a chief superintendent of the Nigeria Police Force. And I'm from Monrovia, Liberia. I just finished my contract with the ECOWAS volunteer program in Liberia. Before I came here, I've been this laid back type. I've been this stay whatever they bring up, let's go to, to let's go into it. But after the training, the first one we have they had 2019, I was able to be outspoken. I'm able to lay my opinion the way I want it. I'm able to try to convince the people that matter on how these things should be to be done. So it's I've gained so much. I've gained confidence in my in, in my work performance, which I used not to have in the past. I've also gained courage in whatever I'm doing, especially at my, uh, at my office. At first, I wasn't like that. I was even failing to give guidance to the people that I was leading. My name is Martina Berger. I am an Austrian lawyer and have studied law and international development in Madrid, Paris and Vienna in Austria. I first came to know about the KRPTC through its cooperation with the Austrian Study Center for Peace and Conflict Resolution. So from there I already knew it's a center of excellence that combines both. It's a world-class academic institution. While I can learn here from experts in the respective field that have a long, long practical experience in the area that they are working in. Alors, je m'appelle Julien Fallon Bois. Je suis camerounaise, étudiante à l'Institut Kofi Annan Peacekeeping Training Center, où j'étudie euh, le Master in Gender Peace and Security. Mais j'ai appliqué pour le cours. Après mon, ma licence en droit, j'ai voulu euh, faire un master en sciences sociales et puis aussi un petit peu en conflit management. Du coup, je suis allée un petit peu chercher sur Google et puis je suis tombée sur KMTC. Et j'ai vraiment beaucoup aimé ce que euh, en master. Et puis voilà, je me suis inscrite et puis j'ai été retenue. Alors mes hobbies, ici à Accra, j'aime aller à la plage, j'aime visiter la plage, la Badi Beach. J'aime aussi aller à Accra Centers où je peux acheter des boubous, euh, des, des sacs, à fritures, j'aime beaucoup. Non, franchement, rien. J'avais aucune information par rapport à ça. C'est vraiment parce que je suis allée sur Internet. Je, voilà, j'ai tapé Master. J'ai mis Master en droit international et puis je suis tombée sur qui est ici. Et puis j'ai regardé. There are so many things that I'm getting to discover in Ghana, and as they come, it's, um, it's always a pleasant surprise for me, and I love. It. So we are going to go back to the school. Available data indicate that 3.5 billion people representing some 40% of the world's population, live in places including Africa that are highly exposed to the impacts of climate change. We're talking about migration in Africa. So I think we cannot only look into from the European perspective of migration, where you always see that, you know, migration has become a very important aspect. Of course it is for the European countries, but we have, to, if it is an African migration issue, we can't neglect the inter-African migration which is taking place uh, at this time. We have to transform, we have to have a new mindset. We need to have a transformative uh, way of donors' assistance. Africans must be at the epicenter of their development, of their issues. We have all of the resources left, or maybe let me say 60% of the resources of the world left on our continent. What are we doing with it? Ghana, we have embarked on a very good system. Our card, the Ghana card, has a lot of features on it. And uh, indeed, it's a standardized uh, card uh, developed by ECOWAS. And if we could all adopt it and register nationals and non-nationals. Eviter les exclusions, toutes sortes. Exclusion politique, exclusion démocratique, exclusion économique, 
exclusion sociale, exclusion sécuritaire. The history of Africa is based on the culture, on our tradition and our, our religion. And uh, we shouldn't, I think, address anything without taking into account the history of Africa. We do not li lack initiatives, we do not lack programs, and we do not lack research. Where we have ourselves most challenged is in the implementation of these programs and initiatives. It is not only the implementation, it is even our awareness about them. You know, that is it, because if you are not aware about it, you know, I don't know how you are going to mobilize the, the, the critical elements of society to implement it. When we see you are migrating, properly speaking, you'll be expected to go about your travel documents, um, conform with the travel regulations set by countries. If you require visas, you have to enter by the proper routes, etc. That we call legal or regular migration. If you're living in a what's a democracy and um, you're being told that these are the things that you can get and you can't get the easier option says well then let me go somewhere else where if i have the necessary documentation and the necessary experience and i apply for a job i have an opportunity to get it and i don't need to be transactional with my body i don't need to present any evidence of my affiliation to a political party or the other the western world benefits from people living Unfortunately, when we are discussing migration and migrants are being demonized, reference is not made to the best hands from the country that have been harvested for free. Many doctors have left. Our best doctors have left. Our best nurses have left. Now, these are not taken into consideration when we are actually demonizing uh, African African migrants. States in Africa should mainstream climate change mitigation and adaptation strategies into their national development plans as an approach to addressing climate-induced migration within and across the continent. I have the singular honor to declare the 2024 Cast Forum officially closed. is living up to her role, the big brother role in Africa, the first West African state to gain independence. You know that big brother, when you have issues, when other members of the families are having issues, it's always the big brother that settles it. To be honest, have you heard about this school before or you're just like me who heard it through a subscriber? If this is the first time you are hearing about this school, let me know down there at the comment section so I will know that you heard it from me first. Anyways, I want to believe you enjoyed watching this video and that I will see you again in another video. Bye.